Hey everyone, this is Famtime back with another Linux tutorial and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to install Kubuntu on your computer. So what you're seeing right now is a customized version of Kubuntu which I showed in my last video how to customize it, how to make it look like this. So I thought I should show you how to install Kubuntu if you're interested. So this is how you do it. Now I will also show you if you wanna do a boot or do a clean install so I'll show both how to do it. So this is very simple all you have to do is just go to the browser and here what I'm gonna search for is Kubuntu and then click on download Kubuntu and I'll download Kubuntu 20.10 so which is this one 64 bit and this will download the ISO file now I have already done that so let's close it so the next thing that you'll need is the Rufus software which I'm gonna use to make my USB flash drive bootable so you need to type Rufus go to this page you can find the link on this page down in the description of this video as well so here what you want to do is just click on Rufus and this will install the Rufus software now once you have downloaded the ISO and the Rufus so let's just close the browser because our work is done here so go to downloads and then run the Rufus software and here just click on select all right and then just select the ISO file click on open and that is basically it so i'll just click on start now remember guys after you plugged in your usb flash drive you should be seeing your flash drive over here so mine is 32 gigabytes so you at least should have a uh, 8 gigabyte of usb flash drive to make it happen so if it doesn't detect your usb flash drive then just plug it out and then plug it in again and this will automatically detect your usb flash drive and just click on start then click on ok okay now this will take a few minutes so let's just wait for it to finish by the way guys if you're new to this channel i would really appreciate if you give it a like and subscribe that will be very helpful all right so while it's doing its job let's just go to the disk partition now guys you need to do this step only if you want to do about your kubuntu with windows 10 i mean alongside with windows 10 or like other operating system so if you want to run a dual boot then you should follow this step or else our work is pretty much done while this is finished so for dual boot all you have to do is just pick a partition where windows or any other operating system is not installed so let's say this is the partition where my windows is not installed so as you can see that this is not the C drive. So remember guys, do not touch the C drive while you're do dual booting. This will damage your windows. So for me, I know that the D drive is suitable for me to create another partition out of it. So all you have to do is just right click and then click on shrink volume. You, and here you just type the volume of your new partition. So I'm not going to do that because I'm not dual booting. I'm going to be doing a clean install. By the way, it is going to be a dual boot because I have two drives on my PC right now. And one is SSD and one is hard disk. So this is the SSD. So this is where my Windows is installed. And this is the hard disk where I will be installing the Kubuntu. So I don't need to do any kind of partition over here. I don't need to shrink any volume. I'll just do the rest of the work while installing Kubuntu. So so let's just close it so as you can see that this is done as well so close it now our work is done here so what I'm going to do is just restart my computer alright guys so I am restarting my computer so let's just restart so while it's restarting what I'm going to do is just keep pressing on F12 on my keyboard so this is what I did guys I just kept pressing F12 on my keyboard so for your computer it either can be f12 f10 f3 or the delete button so for different computers the key for boot menu is different so basically the thing is you have to go to the boot menu so i just pressed f12 and uh, this is the boot menu so here all i have to do is just select my usb flash drive so for me this is the one so i will just press enter and this will start kubuntu now this is gonna be a live version all right guys so this window popped up so let's just zoom in a little bit so that you can see more clearly 
right here so what i'm going to do is select install kubuntu so if i hit try kubuntu then it will load the live version of kubuntu so we're not using the live version where we are installing kubuntu so that is why i'm going to select install kubuntu and then just click continue and i will click continue now guys this is the trickiest part now if you're installing the kubuntu on your computer as a single desktop environment single operating system no dual boot then you're gonna have to select guided use entire disk so what this will do is just erase your hard disk totally and just install kubuntu and you don't even have to do anything just click on install now and this will just install everything for you so this is very simple you are not dual booting or anything like that so just click on install now and your work is done but for me i'm not going to do that i'll go with the manual setup here and this way i can do the settings by myself do the partitioning and all of that manually because i'm going to have the power to partition everything every disk every drive so I'll just click on continue and as you can see these are all the drives and partitions that I have on my hard disk and SSD as well so as you can see SDB1 SDB2 this is the SSD and SDA1 SD2 SD3 and these are the hard disk now here what i'm going to do is delete these three partitions sdf4 sdf5 and sdf6 and then create a new three partitions which are going to contain all the ubuntu files now why am i deleting these three partitions and that is because these three partitions are where my xfc desktop is installed so yes i have another desktop environment i mean linux distribution installed on my computer so these are the three partitions that contains the xfc desktop stop so basically i'm gonna just delete them one by one delete delete and then delete all right so i have deleted those three partitions so as you can see that i have a free space of 209 gigabytes almost 210 gigabytes so here i'll just select the free space and then just create a new partition and this is gonna be 1512 and i'll make it efi system partition and then click on ok and then what i'll do is click on free space again and this time i will put 8000 so the reason behind putting 8000 here and that's because i have a 8 gigs of ram so whatever your ram is you just have to put that here by the way it's not 8000 it's 80000 which is not fine so now this is all right so this 8000 means 8 gigabytes so i will use this as the swap area and then just click OK and then click on free space again and this time I will just simply change nothing so I will keep the number as it is here and then just select ext4 here and then just mount point would be root which is this one so click OK and that is basically it so I have created these three new partitions one is EFI one is swap and one is ext4 so this is going to be the root directory and this is going to be the swap area and this is going to be the EFI system partition so this is basically three partitions that you're gonna need to install kubuntu now if you are manually installing even though you are installing kubuntu as a single operating system for your computer i mean there's not gonna be a dual boot then you can still follow this step all right so i'll not touch the ssd because that is where my windows is installed always keep this in mind that you should not mess with the partitions where windows or other operating systems are installed and i the xfce desktop and that is because i didn't need it so i wanted to install kubuntu that is why i deleted those partitions and created three new partitions for kubuntu so everything is done so i'll just click on install now click on continue now these steps are very simple just pick a username type a password continue and that is basically it so this is gonna install kubuntu now so give it a few minutes and this will do its job so let's just wait for it to finish all right guys so installation is complete so restart now now this will take a few minutes so be patient so it says please remove the installation medium then press enter so basically you just have to take the usb flash drive out and then press enter so 
and as you can see that this is Ubuntu's boot menu so here let me just zoom in a little bit so here this is Ubuntu so if I press enter if I select that so it will go to Kubuntu and then this is Windows boot manager so if I select that one then it will go to the Windows so let's go to the Kubuntu all right guys so this is Kubuntu desktop so we are in Kubuntu desktop so that was it this is how you install Kubuntu on your computer now if you want to learn more about Kubuntu like how to customize it how to give it this kind of look then you can just watch my other videos where I show a lot of customization videos step by step explaining and also I'll put the link of this particular customization down in the description just in case if you want to check it out so yeah that is it guys thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video